G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio Island with me, JD. So a couple of things happened. Um, between episodes I went and added another smelt block. Or two. Because we needed them. And you'd seen it once and, and there's not a lot to, to see or to say or... I just added them. All right? At the same time, I actually added two mods. One is up here in this top corner, which we'll go through when we actually set it up. Um, the second one is uh, inbuilt lighting, which means every single power pole now has a tiny itty bitty lamp in it that's invisible and you can't see and, and, and awesomeness, um, which is good because it means, let's put you down and repair you. Um, great for YouTube. Honestly, apart from that, I, I, it, it, it's, it's, it's not required really for anything but YouTube. I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, let's not handcraft those gears because I just actually what am I handcrafting those for? Wow, right. Let's just four six hundred of them done. Um, I'll also pick up a stack of belt. Um, I also realised that I was missing my name tag off the map, so I went and fixed that up. Uh, you can have some coal. No, we'll just handcraft a heap of power poles to get them done. Uh, and it also reset my my list of stuff we had down here. So I'm busily trying to replace all those. Where's my ammo? Oh, it replaced all my... Oh, I lost all my ammo and my SMG. Damn. That was a lot of ammo. Uh, Okay, done. We're sort of back to where we were. All right, so this episode, now we've got extra smelters up and running. Um, I want to add more burner mine or more, more electric miners, um, a lot more of them. And because we've got heaps of stuff, we should be able to just click and go. Uh, okay, you're going to have coal on you. Um, oh, the other thing I changed was in the options menu, interface. I turn on pick up a ghost item if no items are available. Okay, so if we get rid of that and I press Q on a miner, I can place down ghost miners, which is really, really helpful if you're trying to plan things, which is exactly what we're about to do. We're about to start planning how to, how to do this mining um, given all the mixed resources we have because our iron digs into our coal digs into our uh, into our stone and into our copper so we've got a real mixed bag right here uh, I'm going to have to replace all these power poles and hope nothing dies um, at the same time let's replace those let's get rid of all these burner miner drills yeah we've got boxes and boxes and boxes of coal um, oh research is finished okay so our next research we've got plenty of options none we actually need in a hurry but the one i'm actually going to pick is i'm going to pick engines to get the automobile so i want engines and the other prerequisite was logistics too which will then unlock our cars and our trains. All right, they are really the, the three researchers. Well, that's really the three researchers I want. Um, once I've got those, I might as well get the train signals unlocked at the same time. And what else can we do to fill up our queue? Uh, we might as well unlock military science packs. So with all my coal box, not going to be nearly enough. Uh, where are I? Handcraft a heap of those because we're going to need them. You in there uh, make 10 million um, wooden power poles because they get them out of my inventory then. And 
same with, okay, let's put our coal in here first. Oh, that wasn't worth it. Um, okay, so as you can see, as I craft these, they'll actually disappear out of my inventory. Um, so a good trick if you if your inventory is absolutely chockers is you can just handcraft things. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter whether you need it or not. And actually, hang on, you were, no, you're mixed. Okay, so I want to put in a splitter there. And I want to output priority, right filter coal. So the coal only will go to the right. Iron can pass straight through. And that means I can put th these miners down without any hassle. Which also means I'm probably going to have to swap everything to run uh, in this direction. Okay, and I want you to input from the left. So any coal that comes out here, I want this belt to be the priority. Because obviously I don't want coal clogging up my iron and vice versa. Uh, okay, you can have a bit more belt. Um, so yeah, if you're out in the wilderness and your inventory fills up, um, craft stuff with it. Um, wood craft into power poles or wooden boxes. Uh, wooden boxes are absolutely useless now. In the past, at least you could burn them but you don't even have that luxury anymore. Uh, okay, so we're gonna run that belt down there. You'll mix resources as well, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tilt things sideways. I'm gonna run that one down there, which will be predominantly iron at the bottom and predominantly coal and uh, stone in the middle and run that one that way and then again we're going to put a splitter I'm going to say I want filter iron on the right thank you and I want to bring that oops up here I'm going to suck up the little bit of stone that's on there and tap it into here with a input priority left. Yeah, I can't pick up half this crap. Uh, I really can't pick up half this crap. I need more inventory. Uh, inserters. We dump inserters in there, so they're out of my way. I'm gonna dump the iron in a smelter. I'm gonna dump the gears into this machine and this machine, because they both use gears. I'm gonna dump the copper into those machines. Uh, that's really the best I get. Uh, no, I do not wanna craft Green circuits, thank you. Uh, that'll do me. Shrink the inventory down bit by bit by bit. Okay. All right, now you're backed up because you got stone there and you got nowhere to output the stone. That's fine, we'll, we'll get back to that problem. So if I put one there and one there and one there, and put you that way. Uh, I never put ammo down here. Put that there as well. We're making progress. You have one bit of iron, 48 iron, in a box. You can just harvest that 48 iron and just leave me pure. Pure stone to deal with. 
same with that little patch. Okay, so that's iron done, iron done, iron done. Uh, coal, let's upgrade coal whilst we're here. And that'll do for the moment. Really, I, I should, I should make it neat. I'm not going to, but I should. Uh, we'll add another copper here whilst we're here. Uh, radar can go over there. Doesn't need to be in the middle of the patch anymore. Well defended. We're going to have the same thing here. We're going to have to filter out coal down there and up here. Well, we might as well just do it. You can get moved down two tiles. You can get moved down there. That'll do all of it now. Uh, belt. That's a dedicated line of copper. Uh, I think that cut powder the whole base. Yeah, some power poles are more important than others. Okay, and then run this power pole this way. Clean up a lot of these other power pole shenanigans. That one, that one, that one. Thank you. you out of my way, you out of my way so I can walk through. Uh, put another power pole there. We're going to put another. I'm going to put a splitter there. Move you up and out of the way. This may have copper on it, so we're going to filter right copper. And that means our iron will go north. Okay. So, we've got more iron. We now have three potential belts of iron. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some splitters. There's no real rhyme or reason. It's, it's not going to equally balance it. I'm just hoping that over all the belts, it'll let... It'll let the throughput sort of equalize over any, any of the belts. So if one backs up, it can still be passed through on the other belts. Can't reach, can't reach. Uh, no, I don't have any iron. No iron ore. Uh, where would I find one of you guys have iron? Thank you. I'll make a heap more splitters. Um, so yeah, mods, Muppets, Muppets, I know the mod creator, Muppets lighter power poles are now installed, so as you can see, we can now see anywhere there's power, we can see what's happening, um, I do need to maybe put some gun turrets over this way, um, one of the little quirks of the mod is they don't actually need, the power poles don't need power to make light, um, so I guess that's the one exploit with it. But like I said, for YouTube, it's it's I, I've I've watched plenty of YouTube myself. I've watched plenty of Factorio on YouTube. At at night time, it's pretty dark. Um, okay. The other thing I want to do is I want to do a little bit of a dirty hack. Um, I want to use an underground belt, and I'm going to put this on the end like this. And then, as you can see, the belt's trying to go up. I'm going to hit R on it to, to rotate it, which will actually reverse it. And then I'm going to run it along. Because of the way an underground works with its hood, this side of the underground sort of opens up to allow resources to move in. Um, it's actually much better seen this way. You can see over here, or over here, the underground is 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 complete. That, that shield covers the whole side of it. But when I line it up with another existing belt, half that shield disappears um, and allows material on the left hand side to slide in. So I can use this to bring coal and continue it through on the belt because I just want a little bit, not a vast amount. I want a little bit of steel, and to get steel, we need to smelt iron well smelt iron a second time uh, I'll have that. 
one more. I'll have those. Uh, I just need a little bit of steel. Not vast amounts. And it's five iron plate to make one piece of steel. And with some burner, burner, burner inserters on the other side, it'll just slowly stack up with steel. As I said, all furnaces have an internal buffer. So they can hold up to a hundred pieces of steel in them. Um, but steel takes a very, very long time to, to, to smelt. 16 seconds. Uh, in a stone furnace which has a crafting speed of one so it's going to take 16 seconds for each piece of steel it's going to be quite some time before before they, those even get close to filling up uh, meanwhile our biters are causing us hassles the fact that I've got two turrets here both damaged means um, there is not enough firepower not the slightest um, we'll see I should upgrade this to it being a, sta a, a, a solid column of copper ore. Um, but again, there's just there's no need yet. We're, we're not using copper fast enough. Um, you're also damaged, so you're going to need a gun turret, friend. Uh, can I make more gun turrets? Need more iron. Stand on the belt, hold down F. Scoop up whatever we can reach. Need more gun turrets. You and you. Okay. So I guess the next smelter block we need is a stone smelter block. Okay. Stone is slightly different. Stone gets turned into stone bricks, which actually requires two stone per uh, cycle. So it, it, because it consumes twice as much ore, um, you actually only need it. Well, you can only run a smelter block half as long. Why do you have iron? Oh, really? You have iron? It's that square of iron there. You know what? I'm just going to have to filter it out. <clears throat> filter, right. Iron ore. Oh, underground. That'll do. So stone will let us build stone walls, which we can use as defenses. We don't really need stone walls at this stage. You're done. Um, but again, same with everything. It wouldn't hurt to have them. Um, it's much m always better to have things in advance um, and not need them rather than get to the stage where you suddenly need stone walls and have got none made. Um, ideally, I'd like to put them in right here. So... First off, can we shenanigans our way out of the mess we've made and move everything out of the way? So you can stop running, you can stop running, and you can stop running. That'll let us enter the belts. If we do a copy, we only need this 24 long. So it would go there, which means everything in that area needs to go. Uh, okay. So we're going to put underground there. We're going to bring that around to there. Oh, that's the attack sound. That's a gun turret destroyed. Biters! I thought we'd, we'd agreed. You guys were going to not eat too much. Yep, they took out that gun turret. And almost got this one. That'll do. Okay, that fixes that problem. These belts are now dry. Excellent. Uh, we're going to have to underground that through there. We're going to have to uh, fix up the coal. So the coal's meant to come in here. This is one of the main problems with temporary setups. Um, eventually they become... <laughs> eventually, honestly, they get in the way. Um, Factoria has a, a, a very simple rule that a temporary setup generally stays around till the end of the game unless it gets in your way, at which point 
it gets ripped up and replaced. And that is exactly what's happening. This was perfectly fine where it was, in the spaghetti mess it was, until it got in my way. Once it got in my way, it had to go. Uh, that one goes there, that one goes there. We can then rehook up those three inputs. Uh, we can put our not balancing balancing mess right here now. Um, oh, that's something you just would have noticed. If you've been playing Factorio 16 for a while now, um, you would have noticed that when you push belt over a splitter, they introduce the fast replace. Um, it's been removed. Well, not removed. Uh, fast replace is still there, but it's smarter about the way it replaces things. So now, hopefully, only replaces things when you actually want them gone. Um, rather than in the past, if you just went like this, it would replace all your splitters with belts. Um, so yeah, another minor quality of life change there. Very good one, don't get me wrong. Uh, okay, let's move you down one tile into there. I should probably hook this coal back up before something yells at me. And power, it seems. Control V, put that back there. That was not the button I wanted. Put that there. Put our stone furnaces in place. means I can get all this stone out of my inventory and any coal that's managed to work its way into my inventory I can also dump that too okay uh, underground that to there run that along and why is it coal in the belt I don't know where that came from uh, suggested tutorial. Yeah, we're not doing those. I tried them in 16. They were so so then. Uh, that one, that one. And that one. Uh, let's move you actually over a tile. Oops. Tree, go away. You, you, you're, you're moving me around. I don't like it. Okay. This will let us bring stone in, which is on the right-hand side. We need to get... Uh, on the left-hand side, we need to get right-hand side. Uh, it is typical Factorio. Uh, that is one hell of an attacking party coming down to say hello. I'd say we're doing fine so far. Um, where's our stone? Our stone's here. So, output from there. We got a little bit of iron. Merge those two. Make sure there's no random iron still hanging around. No, nope, you're guaranteed to get in my way. Number one rule of factorio. However much space you think you need, double it. It's probably still not enough. Uh, there. And actually, I can worm that belt in there. It's a little bit of a spaghetti mess. It's fine. Okay. Put in our inserters. Just gonna handcraft them because I'm right here. You're missing a power pole. Uh, I 
put that there so it'll just bleed off. It didn't bleed off fast enough. Um, and we might as well. That's it. That's all the miners I've got. I can't make any more. Okay, so be it. That's it. Uh, I'm just going to sideload that under there. I don't. Um, no, it should be alright. I'm just going to sideload that on there. Train schedules and train stops. Hey, more suggested tutorials. Okay. So, stone only really has two purposes in life. Okay. One is to get turned into walls. And walls are five stone brick in half a second. So, don't be stingy on the inserters. You're going to need all of them. Uh, really, I don't have that inserter. I don't have the iron to make that inserter. Have some more stone. Um, so yeah, do not be stingy on inserters. You could I could even use fast inserters. The other thing that it is good for is for laying down a stone path. So my bus is going to go this way. So one thing is four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tiles wide. So one thing. It can be highly recommended to do. Yeah, that is eight tiles wide. Is lay down paths to run on. Okay, um, I increased my paintbrush size with the plus and minus on the keypad. There is in the options menu if you want to change the options. Um, people lay them all different sizes. I left a four tile gap um, here, if you remember, which is normally normally the size I'd use. All right, four tiles is is a good size. And I don't have any on me now. There we go. Walking speed, 130% increase. Now, if you lay it down the area when you, where you don't want it, you can't. You can see I, I can't right-click to mine it back up like you normally would be able to. To do that, you have to have some some tiles in your hand, be it stone, stone, be it concrete, oh, stone brick, be it concrete, be it landfill, whatever it is, and then you can right-click on it and pick it up. Thankfully, in 17. They vastly increased the pickup speed of this stuff because it used to take forever. Um, but yeah, I, I, I highly recommend some whoop, somewhere in your base um, you 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 lay down a path. Okay, it's a running path. Ideally, you shouldn't build on it, um, or if you do, you should remove your crap that you've already built on it um, because there will be a lot of running back and forth. And having that extra that extra thirty percent will save you a lot of time in the long run. Um, Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. We, we've we've got the smelters. Well, we've got more smelters up and running. We've got the iron somewhat reworked. The copper. Well, we've still got heaps of copper, but nowhere to use it. Um, we've now got stone brick, which means more importantly, we have walls. So we can, if needs be, start laying a little perimeter defense pillbox around our gun turrets. Um, just to give them a little bit better chance of surviving when the biters get to us. Um, but I think in the next episode, we're going to have to continue to look through our research. Along with, we have actually unlocked the car. So maybe we need to go and actually say hello to this biter nest that's, that's literally right there. Um, just outside. No, it's down my field of view. Uh, which is all full of worms, which are going to be fun. Um... And, and say hello to the neighbours and, and, and politely ask them to leave us alone. Anyway, I'll leave that for the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying the Factory Island tutorial series with me. Um, as always, any questions, any thoughts, anything you think I missed down the comment section below. Um, yes, you can tell me it's a, it's a horrible spaghetti base and I will 110% agree with you. But we are going to improve it as time passes. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.